right after high school, I started off a business with one of my brothers. I started off a business with one of my brothers. So it was going very well. Um, yeah, I mean, we were sort of like shipping stuff to the Caribbean, selling stuff down there. I mean, it started doing like thousands mm -hmm. uh, every single month. Um, but then sooner or later, God was really impressing us at that point that he wanted us to do missionary work. And mm -hmm. um, so at that particular time, we didn't really fully understand how can we do missionary work and still be able to like um, do entrepreneurship as well. So, mm. so that was sort of puzzling. So we just knew that God was calling us to do mission work. So basically what we did, and again, many lessons learned, but what we did was just like literally forget about anything entrepreneurship and just focus fully on, um, um, on, on mission work, which we didn't really understand the connection between the two. So for the next few years, we're basically a blank spot of any type of entrepreneurial type of work but then really immersing ourselves in mission work until the Lord was really teaching us a lot more. And that's my siblings, myself, we started up an entire nonprofit organization that is called Eden Lifestyle and okay. started helping, started off canvassing, doing canvassing work, then started helping people in their homes, um, doing house calls, working with the sick and just a lot of things health related. Like we're really, um, you know, assisting people doing seminars, trainings and so on, but like a little ways in ministry, we started like reading more from the Bible about um, ministry, entrepreneur, entrepreneurship. We started mm -hmm. reading from councils, like different councils that we that we were reading through, like different books about a, a, a school that was in the um, 18, 1900s called Madison College. And when mm -hmm. we were reading about those particular older schools and, and how they were operating and the ministry and the impact that they had, and we saw how they had a powerful impact but they were still having thriving businesses. It really mm. inspired us to be like, wow, we we dropped something off that we should have never dropped Stopped off. off. Right. And we recognize that, okay, God wants us not only to be missionaries, but we believe that God wants us to be also self-supported missionaries. Oh, and because again, we were very young. <laughs> that time I was like 17, going on 18. Uh, my other siblings, like, I mean, we, my oldest brother is like five years older than myself. That, that is within okay. the mission. So we're all very young getting into uh, getting into this. And, you know, there's so many things, again, against us. Like literally when we share our vision with like someone that is prominent in the space that we're in, um, they said, hey, you guys need to go to school, maybe get a doctor on your team, you know, just go back to school. Um, you know, you have a big vision and it's too big. You can't accomplish that. Mm. So then we took that as a, as, a, as a fuel to be able to drive us even more and say, hey, be, be, just because you said we want to, you know, that's not the only reason, of course. But, you know, that was used as a tool to basically leverage and to push us even further. Uh, so mm. it didn't drown our desires. It didn't drown our goals and our vision. We always kept our vision before us. And um, with that, you know, as we as we continued on, the Lord really taught us, like, okay, how to be able to combine the two. And, mm. you know, we recognize, like Christ, there's a powerful book. I, I've, I've read it's called it's called Christ Subject Lesson. It's a it's a wonderful and powerful book. If mm. anyone has never heard about it, there's a part that says like um, ministry and business are not two separate things. So as a Christian now, I'm like, okay, ministry and business are not two separate things. They're one. Mm. I'm like, oh wow, this is powerful. We can really integrate mission work and also entrepreneurial work, and um, have a powerful right. combo. And that is why when people ask. What is it that I do? I say, well, I'm a missionary <laughs> by calling and an entrepreneur by trade. And mm. literally, that is really, um, you know, what I do in a nutshell. Yes. That, man, that, that is so awesome. You know, it's so amazing because time and time again, you always hear about some, some there's some individual that has an impact that helps any entrepreneur, right? to yeah. see and to be directed in that path. And so hearing you talk about your grandmother, that even at that time, though, you may not have really understood it as such, yet her example, first and foremost, right, oh, yes. was an example for you and your siblings. And then also you start to see in what you guys start to do in your own hometown, right? Yeah. And what you start to do at school. And then when you fast forward, right, like you say, you got into the to ministry work, and then you look and read about Madison, right? Somebody pinned that information down 
for us to be able to see and read and see, hold on, these people are combining ministry and business together. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. know what I mean? Hope. But this, the impact of people, and this is why we got to share our stories. You know, even you sharing your story here on the podcast, why I'm so happy you come on to even just share, because this is another form of pinning it down, right? That somebody's yeah. going to listen and say, man, that, that, what that Ezra said, like, that is helping me to understand something that I just didn't quite get and quite yeah. understand, right? So, so it's powerful, so, it's powerful, and that's why I like the name of your like, uh, you know, then that your entire like online platform there with 10 makers because, um, you know, who was the 10 maker that we know of in the Bible as Paul, right? But when right, you look at right. Paul, like, who was Paul? Like, Paul was an evangelist, but then yes. he was also a 10 maker, yes. like, 10 maker brought in resources to the point where. He was not only supporting himself, but he was supporting some of his buddies, his friends, yes. even churches. Like, it's powerful, you know, the powerful combination there, you know? No, it's for sure. And, you know, I think it's, it's a lot of times we have to come come to understand as Christians that, you know, the gospel is free, but to give the gospel isn't free. Yeah. That's, that's just the reality, right? And so it takes work. It takes funding. It takes, you know, energy. It takes effort, right? Oh, yes all these things in order for us to share the gospel. And so we have to be wise and understand that this is just a tool that we have to have in our hands to be able to use to good account, you know? So thanks for watching the Line and Lambo podcast. We hope this clip has been a huge blessing to you. And we want to remind you that we drop new videos, new podcast episodes every Sunday at nine o'clock. You can find the full episode by clicking the card up at the top right of this video. If you prefer our audio only experience, then we want to let you know that we're streaming through every major podcast streaming platform. For the full list, you can go to www.lionandalambo.com. Until next time, go impact the world.